10 Secrets You Missed in the Super Mario Bros. Movie Teaser Trailer The Super Mario Bros. Movie, the recently announced and fascinating animated movie of Universal Pictures that looks incredibly fantastic. The Super Mario Movie has been a massively anticipated movie since the time it was announced to the public, and now that we have seen the teaser trailer, the movie looks absolutely stunning. The Super Mario Bros. is an animated movie with so much potential, a world with a vast and endless amount of adventures that the one and only Mario will have to go through to achieve his goals. A movie with awesome graphics that gives the game characters and environment such a new and fresh look and shows us how amazing the movie will be. The scenery is so great to watch, the shining warm colors of the open world of Mario look so good and of course the storyline is set to be incredibly joyful to watch with an amazing set of characters that will sure give us the best feeling ever when we watch it for the first time in the theater. The Mario world has a lot of potential when turned into a movie with a variety of great adventures, characters and fun. The fun in this movie is probably going to be amazing as Mario is one of the funniest and happiest game characters ever. The Super Mario Bros. movie will tell us the story of Mario, the main character of the famous game Mario Bros. The movie will show us the adventures of Mario, a plumber that will go through all sorts of amazing adventures inside of an underground labyrinth to help the woman of his life, the princess. With the help of his brother Luigi and many other great characters in the game, we will see him achieve this mission. But it will not be an easy mission as many obstacles and enemies will get on his way to stop him from achieving this. But we will definitely see see how his story prevails. But there are many secrets that you guys have missed in the Super Mario Bros. movie teaser trailer. Secrets that you didn't pick up on because of how fast the trailer goes. So without further ado, let's get straight into the 10 secrets you missed in the Super Mario Bros. movie teaser trailer. Let's go guys! At the beginning of the trailer, we see a drop of burning lava coming down and melting down as it hits the ice floor. And then we see some more drops hitting the floor, but after this, we see where all of this lava is coming from. It's coming from a huge castle with a not very friendly face on it, and it also has fire inside it that looks absolutely awesome. It's headed straight towards the ice castle and is getting ready for battle with all of its equipment. Well, this castle has the face of the one and only Bowser or King Koppa, and he's the main antagonist of the Mario franchise and the first antagonist of his very famous games like Mario Kart and Mario Bros. The face he has built in with his castle is actually seen in many games of Mario like Super Mario 3D Land. He first appears in the game Mario Bros, released in 1985 as the first ever antagonist of Mario. For years, it was thought to be an ox, but he was actually a turtle. Bowser is also the leader of the Turtle Koppa race, and since its existence in the franchise, it has made Mario's life very hard, not to say impossible. We we actually see his face in the teaser trailer and he looks incredible, but we don't get to see his full potential. This is because the studio is saving the best for the last. We will see how great this antagonist will be in the movie. After this scene, we see that the castle that has Bowser's face is actually huge and settles right in front of the ice castle that houses another great set of characters that we will talk about later into the video. As the castle settles in front of the ice castle, we see a number of soldiers getting ready for an amazing and epic battle. But out of nowhere, we see a character that poofs into the scene. He has glasses, a blue cape, and he has a yellow appearance. He says, Behold the King of the Koopas. Well, this character is Kamek, and it was King Bowser's guardian in many of the super Super Mario games, and it's also the main antagonist of the game Super Mario World 2 instead of Bowser. This character has a lot of history in the Super Mario world and has done a lot of ugly things to the main characters like stealing baby Luigi and even trying to steal baby Mario in one occasion. It's gonna be pretty interesting to watch how he teams up with Bowser in the movie to stop the plans and missions of Luigi and Mario. In this same scene when the castle settles in front of the ice castle to get ready for a battle with the blue penguins, the first thing we see inside are the Koopas, and they are the foot soldiers of the turtle-like copper race that has Bowser as their leader and boss. These characters have been in Mario since the first ever Mario game that was released in 1983. These are the Koopas, and the main thing about the Koopas is that they may retreat into their shells just like turtles do when they feel threatened. But they're not to be confused with turtles, they are not turtles, they are another type of animal. In the teaser trailer, when the camera zooms into the characters, we see that the movie is so great that they put their normal Koopas as we see right here, and then we see the Hammer Bros. The Hammer Bros, as opposed to the normal Koopas, throw hammers, and they have helmets, and they are far more powerful and stronger than the normal Koopas that we see in the game. 
After this scene, we see that Kamek calls out Behold the King of the Koopas, and the main king of the Koopas, Bowser, comes out of the castle to get ready for battle. As he walks closer to the ice castle, we see that the door opens, and we see the king of the blue penguins, and his soldiers come out of it and get ready for battle, running straight at the Koopas, while being guided by their king. Well, these penguins are the same penguins that we see many times throughout the Mario games, like in Mario Party, released in 1998, or in Mario 64, where we needed to take care of one of these cute penguins, and take it to his mom. Yeah, a very, very cute level. These penguins are awesome swimmers, and even though they are always courteous and kind to Mario, they can get angry sometimes and even be an obstacle for him. We first see them in the Super Mario Galaxy game, or in the Super Mario Galaxy 2, where they are always good to Mario and help him several times throughout his missions. It's amazing to see them in this movie, and although we don't know the backstory of what's happening here, it will sure be an amazing story, and we will see what's happening right when we see the movie. If we look at the Koopas closely, we can see that they're holding a black flag with the school shape of Bowser. Well, this flag has the same appearance and shape as the flag we see in the Mario games when Mario gets to the end of each level. It's called the Gold Pole, and if we compare the two, it's very clear that they're in the same flag of the game. This flag appears essentially in almost all of the games in all of the levels of Mario, of all the mainstream Mario games. And in one of the Mario games, the new Super Mario Bros, if the player managed to grab the end of the pole, he would actually get an extra life in the game to continue playing and save the princess in the end. The flag holds a lot of importance in the games, as every time Mario takes it, it symbolizes that the area has been taken over by Mario from the grips of Bowser, who has his face drawn in it in white. Since the beginning of the game, this flag has appeared in all the Mario games, and this is why they wanted to give it a little reference in the movie, because it's such an important symbol in the game. When the blue penguins face Bowser, he starts saying to them that nothing will stop him from taking the star, and he ends up being right and the blue penguins come straight towards him. Kamek uses his magic to make most of the soldiers of the blue penguin to fly away, and he unleashes fire from his mouth like a dragon straight to the ice castle, and then we see him take the star without any sort of resistance. After this scene, we see none other than Mario in the mushroom planet, and fast forward to the end of this little scene, we see him and another little mushroom jumping over some big mushrooms. Well, we have seen these mushrooms all over the Mario games like in Mario Kart Well, if you jumped over them You would get a huge impulse into the next mushroom and so on and so on The mushrooms in Mario have served as a jumping mechanism for Mario to reach obstacles or targets more easily And they have helped them a lot throughout the many Mario games They serve as trampolines to make Mario bounce either by foot like in the original Mario game Or by car like in Mario Kart These mushrooms have been very very famous and useful in the Mario games Because of this, they added them to the movie if we go back to the scene when Mario wakes up in the Mushroom Planet, we see him wake up and be completely flabbergasted by how beautiful, fascinating, and amazing the planet is. He stands up and looks around in shock, rightfully so, and after this, he goes to touch a little blue mushroom, when all of a sudden, another mushroom comes out of nowhere and tells him not to touch it under any circumstances, or he will end up very, very badly. Well, this is actually a reference to the blue mushroom that we see few times in the games, but specifically in Super Mario The Lost Levels. When he comes across the same blue mushroom in one of the levels, and if we touched it, it could hurt us or even make us lose the game. This mushroom has the opposite effect on the other mushrooms. It's poisonous and acts like an obstacle and sometimes even a trap in the game. It appeared also in Mario All-Stars, and since then, it has appeared in multiple Mario games. In this same scene, we see this cute mushroom that saves Sonic from being poisoned by the blue mushroom and actually starts off the adventure with him as we see at the end of the trailer, where both guys start jumping on the bouncing mushrooms and get ready for the new adventure. A very fun and happy scene that closes the trailer pretty well. But this mushroom doesn't look like the other ones. Well, this is because this is the one and only Captain Toad of the Mario franchise. He has the same backpack and the same helmet that we see in the games, and we know from this that he will have the same job as in the games, which is to help Sonic Sonic with his missions and be his guide along the beautiful and fantastic world of Mario. He is also the leader of the Toad Brigade, a group that always helps Mario when he needs it. And in Super Mario 3D World, he's a very fun playable character that has a lot of advantages if you choose him. Overall, an amazing character that will be a great addition into the movie. At the end of the trailer, when Mario and Captain Toad head for the beginning of their adventure, if we really look closely, we can see a huge castle at the end of the cliff. Well, this is the castle of the famous Princess Peach. It is situated in the Mushroom Kingdom, and we see this great castle all throughout the many Super Mario games. The rooms and aspect of this castle from the inside vary a lot from game to game, but it's a very important part of the Mario games, and that's why we see it here. 
The Super Mario Bros. movie will be telling us the story of Mario and his incredible adventures while trying to save the Princess Peach, like in the games. And it will sure be an amazing movie. We will be able to watch the movie on April the 7th of 2023. So prepare the popcorn because this movie is about to be amazing to watch. And well, my guys, that's all the dose of DJ there is for today. I really hope you guys liked this video and liked all of the secrets you missed in the Super Mario Bros. movie teaser trailer. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one, my guys. Peace!